Hey there, everyone. Um, I mentioned I would post when I had tomatoes um, growing, and I certainly have quite a few tomatoes growing. I um, I think this 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 thing is amazingly overloaded. It's actually starting to to grow up um, through the top side of my window here. Um, I'm trying not to I'm trying not to uh, germinate any of those because, well, obviously that would be kind of a mess, but um, so far everything is going really well. I, um, I've replanted, I have some basil here that I grew from seed and I just waited a little bit longer before I removed it um, from the uh, seed tray. I've been using these um, little plugs, they're soilless plugs um, and they retain moisture really well so um, any seeds that you have um, stand a far greater chance of actually uh, sprouting and then you just stick this right inside the um, hydroponic system right inside the pot with of course the um, hydrotron clay pellets um, so I've got um, the snow pea in here which I've had quite a few already well not quite a few I'll say five <laughs> but it's just one plant and it still has more to go I can still see blooms forming um, kind of hard to spot in, in this morass of tomato. The Sweet 100 was, uh, is, is a big plant. Um, I'm growing some other ones, uh, this Bayaya. It's, I think it's what it's called. It's called a Bayaya tomato, and it's uh, four um, pots, and it's actually doing really well. Um, just in a pot here in my window. Um, it already has a good, oh, two dozen um, blooms on it, so it should start producing uh, tomatoes pretty fast. Um, my lettuce is doing just fine, even though it's being kind of crowded out by the uh, tomato. And I've got some strawberries. These are the only ones that I actually did not sprout from, from seed. Um, I ordered these, the Seascape, um, Seascape strawberries. I ordered them just as little uh, crowns. And they're taking off. Wow, they've grown quite a bit since I put them in there. Um, I've grown, I'm growing two. I also have some alpines growing in the... Uh, other window just in the uh, seed tray. They're just too fragile. The, the alpine um, strawberries, I should just show you here. These little strawberry plants, these are alpine and they take forever to grow. This is about, oh, at least a month or more right here. Um, just incredibly slow growing. This is probably more than a month. I, I'll, I'll even say two months of growing. It's it's kind of uh, amazing. Um, so I haven't put any of those in my window yet because they're just not they're not developed enough. So I'll uh, check that out later. Um, I think I've pretty much mentioned all of the uh, the techniques that I've used. Um, I'm going to say that I've I'm going completely over to. Um, there's this tonic bottle, Claire Brune, and it fits perfectly with um, these sauce bottles. These right here fits perfectly with these sauce bottles that I got at uh, the container store. Um, you could just use the sauce bottle itself, it's just not as much water. Um, the Claire Brune container um, fits perfect and it holds well, more solution. So, And this method is pretty great because now I have four different uh, containers and they each have their own sort of mixture because each of these um, columns here are have been started at different times and they all kind of have different nutritional needs like the strawberries and I'm starting them out really um, I'm starting them out really slow because the last time I planted the strawberries in here they just didn't make it so I'm just using uh, liquid karma um, to get them started this stuff right here um, and I'll switch that over and I'll start using some of the, the growing, the, 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 new, the um, Pure Blend Pro Grow here pretty soon. I mentioned before I had some problems with the watermelon. What I did was I just let the watermelon uh, roots grow out quite a bit more before I actually put it in the hydroponic solution. This watermelon is, is um, doing really well. I'm expecting flowers here soon. Um, if you can see the top up there. So I'm expecting flowers here soon. Um, I'm super excited. Apparently the female flowers are only um, good for one day. So uh, if you're growing watermelon, you want to make sure, since you don't have 
bees or insects pollinating these that if you see a flower, you have to um, just look up online, or I can just post in here in a second, uh, what the male and female flowers look like. Um, the females will have a little bit of a, like a egg shape below the flower, um, and that's where the watermelon would grow. But it has to be germinated, so uh, you only have one day to germinate them. The male flowers show up first, so. Um, but yeah, these, uh, these tomatoes should start turning red here anytime. And um, using just the uh, brush, um, I don't really have too many more to pollinate, but you can see that um, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is either um, brush the petal and the little steam in here, because these are both male and female. Same thing with peppers. Peppers are both male and female, so you just need to brush these two together. Um, or you can use a, um, an electric toothbrush to kind of vibrate the whole plant. Um, and then it kind of just vibrates and pollinates each other. Um, so far, I've just been using the brush because it's, it's fun, it's relaxing, it's, it's a, something to do, it's a nice hobby. So, uh, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I think that's probably as far as, 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 far as um, I could go with this. Um, I'll post again next time I have some watermelons growing. Um, in the meantime, if anyone has any questions or comments on, on how some of this is working, uh, just let me know and I'll do my best to uh, answer um, all of your questions.